we'll just have a quick look at converting from our true to compass. Going from compass to true is quite straightforward. Um, compass, deviation, magnetic variation, true. But remember, of course, you can only use the ship's head when getting the deviation from the deviation card. So that's something to, to bear in mind when going from compass to true. So let's go from true to compass. We do the opposite way around, of course. We apply variation first. And if the error is east, then the compass is least. So we're going from true towards compass. So we would subtract. And we're left with 078 magnetic. Now, when we look at our deviation card, compass, deviation, if we apply the deviation to these values, we will get our magnetic. So what you have to do is find two values having converted that fall either side of our 078 magnetic. So we've gone from 60, 11 east, 71, 86 east, 86. So we want 078. So 71 to 78 is 7. 71 to 86 is 15. And the difference between the two deviations is 5 degrees. So 7 over 15 times 5. And then, of course, because we've gone this way with our interpolation, we subtract the 2.3 from 11, leaving us 8.7. Apply that, and that gives us our compass. And, of course, the two together combined give our compass error. Another example, 185 true, 5 west variation. So now error west compass is best, so it becomes 190. Again, we need to find two values that fall either side of the 190. So with 179, 3.5 east applied there, 1 west. Now, when you have 1 west and 3.5 east, of course, the total is 4.5 degrees. So here we subtracted, but here we add because they're named differently. So 179 to 190, 11. 179 to 2 or 3.5, 24 and a half. Multiplied by 4.5 gives us 2. So we apply it that way. So if we go from 1 west, 2 degrees, that becomes 1 degrees east. 1 degrees east gives us our deviation. And then we apply that to get our compass. 189 and if we put the two together 5 west and 1 east we have a compass error of 4 degrees west. So that's just a very quick look at how we convert from true to compass.